Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we linked with a January transfer move to Arsenal. You can see here that we're right here, down there in Swansea still, right by the harbour side. Um, it's very windy, it's not exactly Monaco, but it looks very nice. Look, it's beautiful down here. Um, and I thought I'd come down there and get a bit of a sea breeze. This is the last transfer daily of the window, the last day of January, the day when deals will be done. And as we saw last night from that really poor performance by Arsenal here against Swansea, that team needs help. I mean, it was diabolical last night. The lack of effort, the lack of leadership. The, the team was just spineless yesterday, but that's another matter. What Arsenal fans would like to see today to give them a bit of a lift would be for some good transfers to come in. Now, the one that is definitely going to happen today, I've been telling you about it for days, is the transfer of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang from Borussia Dortmund to Arsenal. Um, it's even been leaked out, uh, a, a supposed interview with um, Arsene Wenger saying, you know, talking about Aubameyang. It's going to happen today. Um, some people saying the medical's been done today. I understand that that was even already been done. And Aubameyang, he's getting his photos done and that will be out later on today. And Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang will be an Arsenal player. What though will be happening to Olivia Giroud? Now, at the game last night, it was very obvious to see right at the end, he was one of the first players to come right over to the Arsenal fans. He tapped the badge, he clapped the fans, he thanked them. Arsene Wenger was asked about it last night and he kind of said, listen, We'll find out today what happens with him. He's been a great servant. Now, there's a lot of fans upset that he's going, you know, one of the possible places he's going to go to is Chelsea. It's between Chelsea, I think, or Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund wouldn't mind his services, but it doesn't look like um, he'd like to go there. He'd rather stay in London because of his misses. Chelsea want him, but they're trying to haggle over the price. But it does look like Olivier Giroud will be on his way out and it's going to be sad to see him go. He's been a great, great servant to Arsenal Football Club. I think one of the players that could, you know, one of the few players that can come back in a Chelsea shirt to Arsenal and still get a round of applause. But it does look like Giroud will be going. Um, fee could be anything from about £18 million up. Arsenal, I hear, wanted about £30 million. They're not going to get that. Probably round about the 20s is what he's going to go for. Now, when you look at it for Arsenal, it is quite good business. He's 31 years of age. He's not a prolific goal scorer. He's a great plan B, but he doesn't want to play as a plan B. He wants to be a regular starter. I don't understand the Chelsea move if he wants to be a regular starter because he's not going to start regular there. But wherever he ends up today, good luck to him. I'd like to see us hold on to him, but I can understand it. We're going to have a lot of attacking options and his game time is going to be even less. Mesut Ozil. Now, there's a lot of rumours coming out of Germany today that Ozil might sign a brand new contract. One of the few players on the pitch last night that looked like he could possibly make something happen. He's, you know, we've got to hold on to this guy. He's central to everything we do. Um, now, the rumours are is that he's going to sign a new contract worth about £300,000 a week and it will make him the highest earner at the club. There's lots of talk that he's been very infused by the signing of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and he's seeing like the club's moving forwards, even though after last night, maybe he's changed his mind. But um, that would be great if he signs a new deal. Um, it would be, you know, listen, he is integral to what we're going to do going forward. So let's hope that Ozil signs a new deal. Now, what about defenders? We saw last night our defence at the moment is shocking. It was all over the place. We need to get some defensive options into the club. Johnny Evans is one of those players that has been talked about this whole transfer window. Could that happen today? Could Johnny Evans be on his way out of West Bromwich Albion and be coming to Arsenal? That is one of the players that Arsenal are looking at. What about um, a move for Costas Manolos of Roma? Now, Arsene Wenger has been a long time admirer of uh, Manolos. It's, you know, he's the sort of player that would be really, really good to get in at Arsenal. But whether they'd be able to do that deal or not, that's another matter on deadline day. Um, this is player Abu Diallo, um, who plays for FC Mainz. Now, this sounds more like an Arsene Wenger type signing. 21 years of age, um, said to be a really good centre back, said to have a lot of leadership qualities, something that we're lacking right now. But he is a young um, defender. And I'm looking at that team last night, and you can see that it needs somebody with a bit of experience to organise that defence. It's awful. 
and we need a defensive midfielder. There's no talk of that this window. I suppose you can't get everything done in a window, but to me, that is an essential. You saw it last night. We were all over the place. Um, and finally, another link today out of the blue. Um, this one again coming out of Germany. The Arsenal may move for the attacking midfielder Max Meyer of um, Schalke. Um, he's said to be a he's available to go out on a free at the end of the season. Arsenal looking very hard at maybe bringing him in. Lots of other clubs, including Barcelona, looking at him as well. So maybe some movement on that. Who knows? But we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. So it's the last day of the transfer window. We're about to leave from Swansea, uh, jump on one of these boats now. We're not really going to jump on one of these boats. We're going to jump in the car and head back up to the Emirates Stadium. Um, we'll be around there all day today. Hopefully, we get to hear about the signing of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and we can get to talk to fans down there. Um, but time to leave Swansea, last day of the transfer window. Um, just before I go, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's been watching the programmes day in, day out. The, the numbers and views that we've had on these transfer videos have been absolutely unbelievable. We've been averaging like over a million views a week. It's been absolutely outstanding. So thank you very much, everybody who's uh, watched and enjoyed Transfer Daily. <clears throat> and um, on this Transfer Daily, there's actually going to be some signings at the end of it. Right? <laughs> so look out for that. Thanks for watching.